grace and peace. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. Ezekiel 36, 26 The truths of the word of God are not mere sentiments, but the utterances of the Most High. Anyone who makes these truths a part of the life becomes in every sense a new creature. The person is not given new mental powers, but the darkness that through ignorance and sin has clouded the understanding is removed. The words, a new heart will I give you, mean a new mind will I give you. This change of heart is always attended by a clear conception of Christian duty and understanding of truth. The clearness of our view of truth will be proportionate to our understanding of the Word of God. A person who gives the scriptures close, prayerful attention will gain clear comprehension and sound judgment, as if in turning to God, he or she had reached a higher grade of intelligence. We are dependent on the Bible for a knowledge of the early history of our world, of the creation of Adam and Eve, and of their fall. Remove the Word of God and what can we expect other than to be left to fables and conjectures, and to that enfeebling of the intellect, which is the sure result of entertaining error? We need the authentic history of the origin of the earth, of the fall of the covering cherub, and of the introduction of sin into our world. Without the Bible, we should be bewildered by false theories. Wherever Christians are, they may have hold communion with God, and they may enjoy the intelligence of sanctified science. Their minds may be strengthened even as Daniel's was. The mind in which error has once taken possession can never expand freely to truth. Even after investigation, the old theories will claim recognition. The understanding of things that are true and elevated and sanctifying will be confused. Superstitious ideas will enter the mind to mingle with the truth. And these ideas are always debasing in their influence. Christian knowledge bears its own stamp of a measured superior superiority in all that concerns the preparation for the future, immortal life. It distinguishes the Bible reader and believer who has been receiving the precious treasures of truth from the skeptic and the believer in pagan philosophy. In the cities and nations of our world, there will be found among believers, unbelievers, a remnant who will appreciate the blessed word and who will receive the Savior. Christ will give men and women power to become the sons and daughters of God.